Hello, in this video, I am explaining working of single phase semi controlled AC to DC converter connected to RL load. AC to DC converters are also called as rectifier. So, what is a rectifier? A rectifier is a device which converts sinusoidal AC voltage source into a DC voltage supply by means of diodes, thyristors, transistors. This rectifying process can take on many forms with half wave, full wave, uncontrolled, semi controlled, and fully controlled rectifiers. Rectifiers are converting a single phase or three phase AC supply into a constant DC level. So, what are the applications of rectifier? Rectifiers are used in controlling speed of industrial drives. These are used in battery chargers, high voltage DC transmission system, and an untreptable power supply system. As in this video, I am explaining a working of semi controlled converter. So, let us see what is a semi controlled converter. Semi controlled converters are also called as half controlled converters. Now, this is the circuit diagram of a semi controlled converter. This consists of a bridge rectifier. This is a bridge rectifier. Now, this bridge rectifier consists of four power electronic devices which are used to convert input AC supply in a DC output supply. Now, out of these four power electronic devices, two power electronic devices are controllable switch and two power electronic devices are uncontrollable switch. And hence, it, this rectifier is called as semi-controlled or half-controlled rectifier. Now, here I have shown a symmetrical configuration of semi-controlled converter. If you see here the circuit diagram, then this is a rectifier. The input given to the rectifier is a AC supply. And at the output terminals of a rectifier, RL load is connected. The magnitude of the inductor in a RL load is large enough to maintain a flow of continuous current through the load. Now let us see working of semi control converter connected to RL load. I have shown here waveforms of supply voltage, waveforms of output voltage or lower voltage, triggering pulses applied to turn thyristor T1 and T2 and waveform of a load current. So let us see how this device is working or how this rectifier is working. The input given to this rectifier is AC supply. So this waveform of a supply voltage is shown here. Now during the positive half cycle of this AC voltage, thyristor T1 and D1 will get forward bias. But from instant omega t equal to zero to instant omega t equal to alpha, no triggering pulse is provided to T1. So T1 is acting like an open switch and there will be no connection between the load and the source. Hence, no current is flowing from load towards the source or no voltage is applied to the load. So output voltage applied to the load is zero. At instant alpha, triggering pulse is applied to T1. With this, T1 starts conducting and current starts flowing from L, terminal of a supply, T1, load RL, D1, back towards N terminal of a supply. Now, during this operation, the direction of a current is as shown in the circuit diagram and it will produce a positive voltage across the load. Now, this voltage which is applied across the load is shown here by the shaded waveform. 
as the load consists of inductor so this current flowing through the load it starts gradually increasing from zero magnitude up to some maximum level so this is shown in this figure so the load current it is gradually increasing from zero to maximum magnitude and during this operation thyristor t1 and d1 are in conduction mode now during this flow of current the energy gets stored in the inductor at instant phi the supply voltage and supply current will get reduced to zero so the current in this circuit will try to get reduced to zero and after instant omega t equal to pi reverse voltage will get applied at the input terminals of a bridge rectifier now for this reverse voltage applied diode d1 will get reverse bias and diode d2 will get forward bias but at this instant as the current in a circuit is trying to reduce to zero so the inductor in a load will try to oppose this change in the current and it will try to maintain the flow of current through it in a same direction so during this process the voltage across this load will keep thyristor t1 in on condition and from instant omega t equal to pi to instant omega t equal to pi plus alpha whatever energy is stored in this inductor it will get released from the path through inductor r d2 t1 back towards the inductor so the current load current gets prevailed through path r d2 t1 l so during this operation t1 and d2 is short circuiting the load and provides a path of for free willing the current and that's why during this instant the output voltage is zero or the voltage across the load is zero and the current load current it starts gradually decreasing from some maximum magnitude towards zero magnitude at instant pi plus alpha triggering pulse is provided to t2 so with this t2 will get turned on and this source voltage which is a reverse source voltage will get applied across t1 and t1 will get commutated so at instant omega t equal to pi plus alpha t2 and d2 starts conducting and load will get connected to source through t2 and d2 with this current starts flowing from n terminal of a source through t2 load d2 back towards l terminal of a source again the direction of current through load is positive and this will produce a positive voltage across the load so during the negative half cycle of a voltage applied voltage the voltage appearing across the load is shown here by the shaded waveform and as the load consists of inductor so the current flowing through load it starts gradually increasing from zero magnitudes towards some maximum magnitude again at instant 2 pi the source current and source voltage will get reduced to zero and after this a positive voltage will get applied across the bridge rectifier so for this positive voltage diode d1 will get forward bias and diode d2 will get reverse bias but as at instant omega t equal to 2 pi the source current is getting reduced to zero and changing its direction so the inductor in a load will oppose this change in the magnitude and direction of a current and it will try to maintain the flow of current in the same direction so during this process this inductor 
starts operating like a source and this will maintain thyristor T2 in conduction state. So during this operation from instant omega t equal to 2 pi to 2 pi plus alpha, the lower current starts prevailing from lower through diode D1, T2 back towards lower. So T2 and D1, these are short circuiting this lower and providing a path, prevailing path for the flow of lower current. And that's why from instant omega t equal to 2 pi to omega t equal to 2 pi plus alpha, the load voltage is zero and the current flowing through the load will start gradually decreasing. At instant 2 pi plus alpha, the current will get reduced to zero and at the same instant, triggering pulse is applied to T1. So T1 will get turned on and this will apply a reverse voltage across T2 and T2 will get commutated and the same operation is repeated. So this operation along with the waveform is shown here. In this way, the semi-control converter connected to RL load is operating. Now the equations for average output voltage and average load current are shown over here. The equation for RMS value of a load voltage is shown here. So average output voltage, it is calculated by using equation Vm upon pi into 1 plus cos alpha. The average output current is calculated as I0 is equal to Vm upon pi r into 1 plus cos alpha. As we are considering here, inductor as a filtering element which is used to filter the ripples in the output voltage and current waveform. So the average output current is calculated by using equation Vm upon pi r into 1 plus cos alpha. And the RMS load voltage is calculated by using equation Vl is equal to Vs into square root of 1 upon pi into bracket pi minus alpha plus sine 2 alpha upon 2. So this is all about working of single phase AC to DC converter, semi-control converter connected to RL load. Thank you.